The Muscle and Behold was initially discovered by Peter Heads, who's a metal detectorist, and he contacted me because I was doing research on Iron Age sites in the region nearby. Um, we both realised he'd made a, you know, an, an interesting and exciting discovery, so we contacted the Portable Antiquity Scheme and the British Museum to let them know because it was potentially a treasure case. And then we both agreed that we'd come back and do a careful archaeological excavation to record the finds very accurately. And that process is really important because that careful archaeological excavation means that we can understand the context of the finds, we can retrieve material for dating and really understand and answer those kind of questions of how and why was the material deposited where it was. So the hoard was excavated by a team from the Department of Archaeology at Durham University and that included staff from our professional archaeological services team. We're fortunate that we have students on placement with that team as well so for them it was their first excavation, so a pretty exciting initial uh, first excavation to be on, a find of a lifetime. Bringing the team together meant a careful excavation meticulously undertaken, so each find was carefully excavated, recorded, photographed. We used the latest 3D digital technology to record finds in 3D, and that's really important because that kind of meticulous recording means that we can reconstruct exactly how we excavated the find and reconstruct how the material was deposited in the past and we can look at that again back in the laboratory.